Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall. I've been licensed to practice medicine for 36 years, and I have an ideal medical practice in Santa Rosa, California. People come to our resort to regain their lost health and appearance. Welcome to the series, Star McDougallers in Their Own Words. You're going to meet a person, Phyllis, who regained her lost health, and she was in real trouble with rheumatoid arthritis. I started to experience pain at, uh, at various times. It started in my feet and it happened when I uh, was standing for long periods of time, perhaps listening to a lecture or, or a speech of some kind. I thought that it was getting more serious, but I was trying to avoid seeing a doctor because I was sure that I'd be prescribed some drug for it and I was trying to hold off before that happened. One day I was uh, traveling to spend some time with my parents who live in a different province and uh, they, uh, uh, for some reason, for two days, I could hardly walk at all. In fact, I couldn't walk at all. And uh, it was so bad that as I tried to walk, I was literally, tears were, go you know, uh, were running down my face through the pain that I was having, and I just didn't understand what it was from. I went first to my uh, family practitioner, who then, um, uh, recommended to me a, a rheumatologist, and that's a doctor who specializes in, um, well, in what I ended up having, but uh, um, I guess rheumatologist is autoimmune diseases, or, or uh, in my case, it was um, rheumatoid arthritis. And she immediately wrote out a prescription for me, uh, and I asked what that was, and she said uh, it was something called methotrexate, uh, I found out later that that's a drug that uh, is uh, used to treat cancer patients, or a form of it is. But at the time, she told me it was a very strong drug, and I would need to take this for the rest of my life. And then she immediately said, now I want to schedule the first uh, blood test for you. And I said, what is that? She said, you're going to have to come back at the beginning. I believe it was something like every th three to six weeks to have my blood tested. I asked, what, what, what was that about? And she said that it could have an, a very adverse effect on the liver unless it was monitored properly. So, I, you know, I was, um, I guess I wasn't absorbing a lot of what she was saying, but what I did absorb is that it was a very serious drug. But I guess I forgot to tell you that the last thing she said to me is, take your time and, and you can, she knew I was going to look on the internet and things, she said, but you'll be back really soon. Um, uh, because really, uh, you're looking for some cure through food and there is none. So that was probably more frightening to me than, than anything. And so my reaction as I walked out of her office is that I have a terrible disease and I, I and that it was, I guess I describe it as almost like a death sentence. And I don't know, because I didn't know enough about it then, but it sounded like it was grave and it was something that I really had to deal with quickly. I, I, I had a very, very good reaction to it. It was very, very, very quick. I, I tried to follow it. You know, I, anyone coming from a, a, the non-McDougall diet, it's, it's hard to replace everything. Uh, but very, very soon after that, I saw some very positive effects on me in that the, uh, the pain was reduced quite substantially. But in my particular case, it did not go away 100%. And there were a number of plant allergens that I did not know about that were mentioned in the book. And I thought I needed to go a little bit further because I was not getting the kind of effects that I wanted, which was nothing less than 100%. I'm just like that. And so the five plant al allergens um, were uh, wheat and corn and citrus and tomatoes and strawberries. And so I went on uh, a, a sort of mini elimination diet, also described in the book. And uh, so I eliminated those five allergens, and then I started adding them back. And uh, major reactions occurred with wheat, and also with the citrus fruits. And so, uh, and uh, on a lesser level with the corn. And so that was what did it. I have not actually eaten any wheat, to mention one of them, for um, six or seven years. And I just won't because I'm just afraid because everything is so perfect now. 
I have zero limitations. I don't have any limitations whatsoever. And uh, if this was a different sort of show, I'd jump up and down on my feet and show you how pain-free I really am. But the one thing I do show when people ask me, the first thing I do is I make a fist like that. If you know people with rheumatoid, those who people who, who might not know people with rheumatoid arthritis, one of the first places is the hand. And I couldn't make a fist for years, and I didn't have at least two or three swollen fingers for year. In other words, I had swelling for, for years, even though they were different fingers. So for me to be able to go like that in the most natural way without any pain with the kind of arthritis that I had is something so extraordinary. That is why every day I wake up and I say, I have no pain, and I feel wonderful today. This is a dietary disease, and there are 25 papers in the scientific literature that clearly say this is a dietary disease, and if you change your diet toward the diet that I recommend, that you will get much better. In fact, many people get cured of rheumatoid arthritis and similar types of arthritis. Now, Phyllis had to take a bit of an extra step. It wasn't just the basic McDougall diet of starches, vegetables, and fruits. She also had to eliminate wheat and corn and soy products, and then she got better. There's actually an elimination diet that I use with people, and this is a basic diet of the foods that are least likely to cause arthritis and other problems. It's a diet of sweet potatoes and brown rice and green and yellow vegetables and fruits, non-citrus fruits, all thoroughly cooked. Now that may seem drastic, but really to get your health back and you learn so much about yourself, later on you can add other foods back, but to get your health back, you're talking about a disease where it's progressive and deadly and the treatments are extremely toxic and they can cost you $20,000 a year. Now let me mention how diet is involved in causing these kinds of arthritis and other similar diseases that we call autoimmune diseases. What happens is proteins from food go into the intestinal tract and in some people they go through the gut wall. They have leaky gut and they go through the gut wall intact into the bloodstream. Now the body recognizes these as foreign proteins like cow milk protein and it makes antibodies against these foreign proteins. The cow milk protein, this could be a virus or a bacteria. The body doesn't know, it just knows that it's foreign. It's gotta make an antibody against it. Unfortunately, these antibodies aren't specific just to the cow milk protein. They also find similar proteins on joint tissues and skin tissues and pancreas tissues and other tissues in the body. And what happens is the immune system attacks our own tissues. The body attacks itself. You say, how silly, how stupid. Well, the body gets confused. It gets confused because we eat a diet that really isn't intended for us. We eat a diet high in animal foods. Our diet is a plant food-based diet. Plus, we have our gut uh, assaulted by other things. It gets damaged by the drugs we take, like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, like Motrin, Advil, things people commonly take. The gut gets injured and becomes leaky by the toxins in our food, by viral infections that we catch. And as a result, when it gets leaky, these foreign proteins go into the bloodstream and the body develops these autoimmune diseases. So when you change your diet, what happens is the gut heals and you stop putting these foreign proteins into the gut, which go into the bloodstream, which cause the immune system to react in a way that is just destructive. We call this process, by the way, if you wanna look it up on the internet, we call it molecular mimicry mimicry, like in copy. You can look it up and study it. Scientists know all about this. But what you really need to know is these diseases, like rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune diseases, they're not incurable. Drugs are not the answer. It's within your control. Cost-free, highly effective, non-toxic, in your control. Change your diet now.